This idea of the solar compactors on campus all started with just a small idea that kind of popped in my head as I was in school and I started meeting with people and it became reality and campus is very helpful and everyone is very happy to help me as a student and it's become the real thing now. The compactor has been around for a couple years now and from a sustainability perspective it's an extremely visible example of our commitment to sustainability on campus and it's something we want to pursue. It's a solar powered unit. The solar panels charge a basically a 9 volt motorcycle battery and can compact the garbage and recycling to about five times the normal capacity. I originally came to the school because of their sustainability and I've always had a huge interest in sustainability. And I was walking downtown in Kelowna one day and I saw the Big Belly solar compactors there. And I was thinking that's a great idea and I'd seen them before. And then I walked around campus a couple days later and I noticed that all the garbage bins were full. They didn't have these solar compactors and it seemed like they had a bit of a garbage disposal issue. Every year we get a few suggestions from the campus community for you know, sustainability initiatives on campus or, or what else the facilities department can do to improve campus life. We'd actually like to have more. It helps us be responsive to the campus and from all the opportunities that are out there it's difficult for us as a department to stay on top of every one and when community members like Josh come to us with ideas that helps us prioritize those opportunities and show ourselves as a true partner with all the members that we have on campus. Now we have seven compactors on campus and they've been working great and they're very happy with them. And overall, they've been a great thing for the campus and it's been reducing garbage significantly. The future of the Big Bellies on campus, we hope, is a bright one. And they're going to be focused in the campus courtyard. So between the admin building, the arts building, library and science building. And that's so that we can optimize the reduction in the a pickup frequency. Right now, instead of picking up garbage in this area every day, we now only pick up one day a week, which is a payoff of about three years on these units, which is incredible. So we expect that we will continue to grow that on campus. The courtyard will be the epicenter and it will slowly grow out, prioritizing the high use areas and then getting to the, the peripheries of the campus eventually. It's reducing the garbage, it's reducing the amount of critters that are coming. There's no wasps anymore in the garbage cans and it's just, they look nice and the campus is just a lot cleaner now. There are many other sustainable things that can be done on campus and if students can see that they can do this and make a difference, it's very important and I encourage any student to do the same thing as this is a very important thing and it's, it's a great way to help the community.